Alright, so the next commonly asked thing is how to change and add levels to your to the template. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to open up core blueprints and gameplay and no not gameplay, uh lobby. Lobby and lobby game mode, lobby GM. So we open this up. And there's two events down here called Launch the Game, based on map selection. So yeah, Launch the Game. This event is for multiplayer. So anytime you're hosting a game and you're playing multiplayer, these are the... Uh, this is what this event runs to uh, server travel to whatever level you selected. The one below it is for single player. Uh, you have to type in the name exactly as, it, as you have it in your um, editor. So Arena 1. Arena 01 has to be typed exactly right. Same with the server travel, you have to put the path that your level, where your of where your level is exactly, otherwise it won't work. So let's just go ahead and add a new one. So we'll do a, let me go to maps, go to file, new level, we'll use the default one. Save it. File, save, current as, let's put it in maps, we'll call it uh, test arena, okay, save it there, alright, so now we have a new world here, I'm not going to add anything to it, just for a test. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go all the way to the bottom down here and click on widgets and go to UI and then go to main no, lobby, go to lobby and map selection. And this will open up the level selection widget. You see I already have a button here to add more levels here so we can just go ahead and use this. So let's see. Text, we'll make this called test arena and then we'll click on the actual button scroll down to the button and there is an on click and on hover that have, should already be created click this as you can see it's the same for every level so if you don't have the if you wanted to make another one from scratch you would just make a new button and do these two events on hover and on click so all we have to do is just change the, you have to make sure this temp, or, this temp map ID variable is uh, not any of the other ones. So it starts at zero, it goes from zero for the first map, one for the next one, two for the next map, three for this map that we're doing. Uh, you get to pick your, what you want the picture for the level to be. We're just going to pick something weird like this one. Uh, that'll be what shows up when you select the level. Um, what do you want the map to be called? We'll call it Test Arena 4 and then we'll compile. Save that. Now we have to remember this number. Go back to Lobby Game Mode. Um, add a pin right here on this switch on int. This will be for our new level. I'm just going to copy one of these, paste it here, move this down a little bit. Alright, so then you have to connect this new one to that new pin that we made. So as you can see, this, this number is 3. In the lobby, if that number is equal to 3, then it'll execute this. So then we make sure you connect the Get Player Controller. Now we have to type in the name of our map exactly here. So our map is inside of the maps folder and it's called test arena. So as you can see here it's inside of HGT content or it's inside of HGT maps and then test arena. So we have to type type that in exactly. So let's go back in the game mode. We got HGT maps test arena compile save 
Now we got to do this down for single player. You do the same thing, add a pin, open level, we'll just copy and paste a new one, and then drag up here, connect into three, and make sure you type it in exactly what it's called, test, arena, compile, save. All right. So now the level is there and it'll load, but we have to do one more thing if you, uh, for packaging purposes. So you got to go to Edit, Project Settings, and there's a tab up here called on the side called Packaging. Click that, and then scroll down under Packaging here. There's a little arrow for Show Advanced. You click that, scroll down. And right here you have list of maps to include in a packaged build. What this is is the list of the levels. This is the levels that are uh, going to be packaged in your game when you go to um, fully package your game to share with others. So you have to add a new element here. And then you have to type in the same uh, path to your level. So, Or you can click the choose a file. We'll do that. Choose a file. I think you can browse to it this way. Ours was called Test Arena. Open. Alright, so now our new Test Arena map is added in here, so it'll package when we try to package our game. Alright, now let's go back to main menu. Uh, we don't have to go to, we'll go to the lobby menu. Lobby menu, we hit play. Hopefully this should work. So we go to change level. Oh, it's not hit. We forgot to change the visibility of the button. So let's go back and do that. Under map selection, designer. I think I have this button hidden. So we'll just search for visibility. Yeah, it's collapsed. We'll make it visible. Compile, save. Now when we play, should be able to change the level. There's Test Arena 4 with our crazy looking texture that we, our material. <laughs> Let's see, now you got these. Click on Test Arena 4, it says we're playing Test Arena 4. Cool. Alright, let's double check it in single player. Main menu. Play. Oh, just for you guys know, the multiplayer you can't host a multiplayer game in uh, in the editor. It just you, it's the Unreal Engine doesn't allow server travel, so you'll never be able to. It'll just sit there and load forever if you're in the editor. That's just the editor thing. So let's see. We'll select the character. We'll put our level to our new level. Start the game, and here we are. We're in our new level, but I forgot to change the world settings. Let's do that too. I'll teach you how to do that. Just in case. So, in our new level, say so you made a brand new one. In order to spawn as the character, you have to come over here to World Settings. See this under Game Mode, Game Mode Override? You have to click Gameplay GM, Gameplay Game Mode. And it should generate all these for you, but if it don't, let me zoom it out so you can see. Your default pawn is the third person character, HUD class is HUD. Player controller class is gameplay PC. Game state is BP underscore underscore game state. Your player state is online player state. And spectator class is spectator BP. And that should let you spawn in in the game now. Since you got the right settings, it knows who to spawn. And the rules and everything. Alright, so that's how you add a level into the game. New level. Um... I think that's it. That's all I see.